because it be super hot here. Yes. I don't know what the temperature is today, but it's a great day to be in Dubai. I love you, Dubai. So amazing. Look at that sunrise. Oh, and hello. Hello. I know. Hello. You, I'm afraid of birds, so let me just go on in. Woo. Nothing but the rich and the famous, a Lamborghini. Lamborghini has no need to advertise. Why? Because they know who their clientele is, the rich and the wealthy. So as we get ready to head back to the States, and I'm telling you, I really don't want to go. We had to get a COVID <laughs> test, just as we did coming down. And the hotel provided the test for us free of charge since we've been here so long. So the results came back and all of us are negative. Thank God, after having COVID, we definitely don't wanna have COVID again. And we want the flexibility and the freedom to be able to travel without the headache. Still wearing that mask though. Headed to the airport. Again, I cannot get over all these luxurious, tall skyscrapers. Just everywhere you go in Dubai. I mean, when they say that things are bigger and better here, they're not lying. And just talking to some of the locals, they state that whenever another country does something, Dubai seeks and aims to overdo them. We finally arrived at the airport. Did you enjoy Dubai? Did I? <laughs> Jesus. What was your most favorite thing about Dubai? Everything. Everything? Everything. Yeah. Lifestyle. Lifestyle? Lifestyle, the rich and the famous. Uh no drama no crime no crime okay tax free tax free what was your favorite thing about dubai <laughs> i like the food i like the females i like i like the living the living and i just like it's just calm peaceful yes i agree you gotta worry about nothing for real i agree what did you like about dubai Everything. <laughs> All right. Enough said. Huh? Enough said. Enough said, exactly. So we're headed back to the United States. So what did you like about Dubai? All our luggage and all what of that. She, what did she like about Dubai? <laughs> so what did you exactly like about Dubai? I loved everything about Dubai, as everybody else has said. All the, the gang gang, the crew. One thing I really loved about Dubai was the business opportunities, the real estate. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. It's so much opportunity here. The people are kind. They're friendly. They, um, they support one another. There's no hate for each other. There's no crime. It's just, it's just an ideal place for someone that wants to escape America. <laughs> <laughs> and come here and be their best self. So, I mean, we will definitely be back. Won't we be back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> H to the, yes, we will be back. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to smack you. All right. <laughs> you. Our flight is on time. Still trying to learn the Arabic language. What? Better stick to English for a while. But we had to put our bags up there when we came to Dubai. Uh, Emirates is who we're flying with, and I highly recommend this airline. They are very professional, classy, and everything is just done right. Walking through the airport, there's so much in their airport. It looks like a mall. Really, it does. It looks like a mall. They have a lot of name brand stores in here and different things that you can get and grab and take back to the States with you. Some of it is duty free. A lot of it is not. The prices in Dubai, I literally did not think were really, really inexpensive. This right here, I had to take a picture of this because I'm like, okay, they sell it, they're selling cigarettes, but they're also letting you know that smoking kills. And so beware, you can buy it, but beware that it does kill and it does damage your lungs. So I like the fact that they uh, promote that on there to kind of deter people from buying cigarettes. But anyway, as I was mentioning, I don't think the prices were literally cheap as, you know, some of the other countries that we've been to and visited. They were moderately priced and some of them were comparable to the states. It just depends on what you buy. 
But as always, my family loves going to get their favorite Starbucks. This right here is some kind of chicken turkey or tiki or something like that. It actually was really, really good. They don't sell it in the States, so I wanted to give it a try. Lots of bread on there, and I am a foodie for bread. Not that I need it, but I love it and like it. And then I was quite amazed that their McDonald's sells dessert. All of it looked yummy, and I'm telling you, my stomach was crying for each and every piece of the donut, the chocolate donut, which is one of my favorites. They had cake. I did get the red velvet cake, which is right there, and... Um, when I say yummy, McDonald's know what they're doing. Obviously, their coffee has gone up a notch. Um, they are promoting their McCafe over here. And it really looks like a little cafe where you can come get coffee, sit down and chill, and head to your gate. So they sent us a text telling us that it was time to go to the gate to get on the plane. And of course, we're always walking around looking, look, a breakfast burger. So many different food items and different things to try over here. Well, we're on the plane getting ready to go on this 14 hour and 30 minute ride back to Seattle. And let's... so within a matter of a couple of hours, breakfast was served. They gave us an omelet with some chicken sausage, spinach, and some kind of ratatouille or something along those lines. It was good though, I must tell you that. Got the fruit and that water, it was totally different than any other water I tasted. It always tastes fresh and clean. And of course, they got the croissant and then your utensils there. And I must tell you, there's my orange juice there, but I must tell you the breakfast this time going to um, Seattle was much better than coming to Dubai. And while we're on the plane, we always listen to our music. I was listening to some Beyonce, the Carters. Then after that, lunch was served, some kind of um, salad. I don't know, those are garbanzo beans there. But this was really good. It was a chocolate souffle with strawberries in it and raspberry with nuts on top. I had my wine and my cheese, my roll. They know they love their bread. There's their wine right there. It was delicious in conjunction with this meal, barbecue chicken, corn, um, carrots, and broccoli. And Mr. Womack, he, he don't miss a meal either. He always loves to eat everything that's put in front of him. He don't like to waste no food. But look, he did bring his Bacardi. He got that from the um, airline lady, and he mixed it with a little rum and Coke there. And uh, we just chilled the rest of the way While to Dubai, Seattle. So we my friend Veronica from East Boogie. Good to see somebody from back home. That's me leaving the beach area. I loved this hotel. And that's me in my swimming suit. I'm not gonna tell you I need to lose some weight. But anyway, this me in the hotel with all those luxurious flowers. I was matching that day too. And this me just living life in front of the beach. Oh yeah. That's us doing our safari tour on ATVs. And this is us strolling the city in Dubai. We had a great time. And that hotel was thebomb.com. Me and hubby celebrating 25 years. Us at the Marina Hotel again. And that 25 year marriage. Life is great. Signing off now from Dubai.